This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, specifically another Mermel combo tutorial for the Link Era capabilities of this deck. This deck has just been getting better and better at going first over the past couple of months with new Link monsters coming out and stuff like that, and it has definitely gotten much, much better with the release of Miss Starboy in the special edition for Code of the Duelist. So, basically, when I was theorying a bunch of combo tutorials to start making for Mermails on the channel, I very much quickly came to the conclusion that there are very much two sort of functionalities that you can have with these combos. You can go for a very simplistic route of using minimal card resources and still yielding, you know, a good result of, like, dropping Moulin Glaze or making Bahamut Toad Moulin Glaze or something like that, it's, but using a very simplified card sequencing and stuff like that. But then on the opposite side of that coin, with the exact same combo resources that you have access to, you could go really hard, really down the sequence of, you know, I'm going to Link Spam, I'm going to do all this stuff, I'm going to make Firewall Dragons, I'm going to do all this, and still end with Moulin Glaze Bahamut Toad in many of these same combo sequences with the exact same cards. So, I came to the conclusion that I could really do multiple combo tutorial videos on the same subject matter because there are two very different ways to play out these combo sequences that still yield you a good result, with the more combo-oriented ones being objectively, in my mind, better because they yield you more cards and more advantage and more things like that, as well as working better with certain card sequences. And then you have the simplified, or as I jokingly refer to them as, the basic bitch combo sequences where you're just trying to minimize what you're doing and you're just trying to get to a result as quickly as possible so that you can play this deck on some sort of locals or regional level or you have the other combos where you're literally just going as hard as you can all the time and you're like I'm trying to win every game I play in the most extra fashion you know extreme link format combo tutorials so this video is going to be one of the more simplified ones. It is going to be a combo showing you what happens with Mermel Abysteus and Atlantean Dragoons as your only two combo cards, and then I'm going to expand upon it with two other versions of the combo as well, adding a third card into the combo sequence of being, you know, engine card or just an extender like Instant Fusion or what have you. Because I showed the first combo and the uh, the first combo video I did, which was Teus plus Neptibus, and I've had a lot of questions since. I haven't done a Mermel video in like two weeks or more, actually, probably. I uh, can't remember exactly, but I've had a lot of questions from people uh, that want to play this deck, and they're like, what do you do with Mermel Dragoons? What do you do with this? And there's multiple ways to do things with Mermel Dragoons, as well as with extenders added in. So, like I said, I'm going to show you this two-card combo of what it does, and I'm going to show you two expanded combos for this. Uh, and these are all simplified combo sequences. They're not any of the crazy link spamming ones. I will do a different video on those as well, because they really do cover their own video. But... For just Mermel, Atlantean Dragoons, this combo sequence is actually one of the simplest ones, and frankly, is actually not that amazing either. With just Teus Dragoons and the crazy Link combo ones, you can go double Firewall Dragon, Moulin, Bahamut, Toad. However, with uh, with uh, not trying to go crazy with Link spamming, just Teus and Dragoons by itself does give you a Decode Talker and a Moulin Glaze drop if you're just trying to be very simple. So, I'm just going to show you what that does. So, obviously, you're just going to activate Teus and you're going to discard Dragoons, special summoning your Teus to your side of the field. Your Dragoons will trigger and your Teus will trigger. And off your Teus, you're going to add Mermel Abyss Osha. And then off your Dragoons, you're going to go straight for your Moulin Glacia because you're just going to be trying to put five waters into the graveyard really quickly, really you know, easily. And you're not trying to do any extra fluff, essentially. But so, you'll summon your Osha. You'll use Osha targeting your Abyss Teus. And you'll just get two Mermels out of your deck that you don't really want there, like Hild and, I guess, uh, Abyssmander. It doesn't matter what they are, as long as they're effect monsters, of which all the Mermels are effect monsters, so it shouldn't matter. So the Ateus goes to Grave after you summon these two, and then you're literally just going to link these three <laughs> into a Decode Talker, and you're just going to have you're just gonna have a gay old time there. Uh, and you're going to Special Summon the Moulin Glaze, take two cards out of your opponent's hand, because at this point you have exactly five waters in Grave. So... It's the simplest of the combo sequences, but it is something that you should definitely know is that if you only have Teus and Dragoons and you're not building your extra deck to do all the crazy link spamming stuff with the firewalls and nonsense, 
then you can definitely go into Deco Talk or Mulan Glaze with just those two cards, which is something that wasn't possible in the past. It was really hard to drop Mulan Glaze with just Dragoons and Teus. And this is kind of alright by itself because, I mean, it is a Deco Talker. It is a Mulan Glaze making your opponent play on four cards going second, and you do have three other cards to extend with. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind this, and I'm going to show you what happens when you start adding one card into the combo sequence to give you an extension in the form of engine cards and what have you. So, let me rewind this real quick, and we will be right back. All right, so now for this one, I'm adding one card into the combo sequence, and it is Instant Fusion. So, Teus and Dragoons, your original starting two, plus Instant Fusion. Now, we are still playing Instant Fusion, or at least I am because you have access into a couple of things. It's definitely not as strong as it was with Norden around, but you do still have access into Rare Fish, which, you know, having extra level 4 waters is definitely still good, so 1-2 to two Instant Fusions is still probably, you know, good to play in the deck, especially since Aqua Spirit is also really good. Uh, there are some conflicting problems with uh, Silent Angler being, you know, you can't drop Moulin Glace after and stuff like that, so... Uh, Instant Fusion is just a little bit better, and then as we get Link Karibo, it gets better still because we have access into Thousand Eyes Restrict to Instant Fusion into, uh, and then, you know, make Link Karibo and after removing one of their monsters from the field, so stuff like that. Uh, it's all, it's all relative, but anyway, if you're going first with these three cards, uh, this gives you Mulan Glace, Bahamut Toad, and a Mistar Boy. So, you'll go Abyss Tius, discarding your Dragoons. And then you will add your Mermail Abyss Osha to your hand off of the Teus, and you will again go straight for the Mulan Glace, the Elemental Lord, off of the Dragoon Search. Then you will normal summon your Abyss Osha. You'll use Osha to target your Abyss Teus, and your Teus uh, will be sent to the grave to summon again just two war just two Mermails that you don't want out of in, uh, in your deck anymore. Um, I am still playing Hild and Mander in my list because they do still facilitate good combo sequences. Uh, specifically like um, uh, Mander for Grave Control in these Teus combos. As well as Hild being able to be linked away with is actually just awesome because it lets you summon Mermails from hand. So Hild is actually just awesome. You're, I'm kind of on the fence on Mander, but Hild? Yeah, 100%. If there's Ocean in my deck, there's a Hild there. Uh, this card is just not a brick anymore in any way, shape, or form because you just link with it. It's actually just great. Uh, but so your Teus goes to Grave, you get these cards on the board. And then you will just link with your Osha and your Hild into your Mistar Boy. And that opens up your two zones down here. And then you'll activate your Instant Fusion for your Rare Fish into one of the zones that Mistar Boy opens for you. And then you'll just overlay into these with Bahamut. And, or you overlay into Bahamut with these. And you'll detach whatever Mermail you summon. Rare Fish is just, you know, something you probably want to keep under the, to uh, under the Bahamut unless you're trying to be cheeky. But so you'll detach off that and summon Toad, and now you're at conveniently five waters in Grave with just this three-card sequence. So you special your Moulin Glace, take two cards out of your opponent's hand. Your Totally Awesome is big uh, because of Miss Starboy. Your entire board is big. This is 33, this is 31, uh, this is 19, and this is 27. Uh, and uh, your opponent is playing on four cards going second, having to deal with a Totally Awesome negate. Uh, which means that your opponent's effectively playing on three cards, uh, and even if they get rid of the Toad, you get to add back a power card like Teus or Dragoons. So like, this is fantastic as well. This is one of the simpler combo sequences, and it's one of the ones that I like to do as well if I'm just trying not to think really heavily about what my Link format combo could be. Um, I like to just put this out. Like there's, like I said, there's very much the simple way to do things, and then there's just like, I'm going to make Firewall Dragons. <laughs> there's very much a hard way to do everything. Uh, to give you better sequencings and better uh, positionings in the game. But I'm going to rewind this one more time and show you one more combo extension of how you can perform this. And it is personally one of my favorite openings that this deck has in the form of these simplified openings that you do. So we'll be right back with that in just a second. All right, so this is the third variation of the combo that I'm going to be showing you. And like I said, it is Abyss Tius and it is Atlantean Dragoons. And they're going to be adding one monster into the mix. And it's either adding Osha or adding Mermail Abyss Pike, or adding Mermail Abyss Turge. It's adding any of these three cards to your hand, any one of them. Uh, any one of them allows you access into this combo sequence, and what this does is this allows you to go Bahamut, Toad, Moulin Glace, Mistar Boy again, but it also ends you with a search or an add back if you had Turge. Um, but ideally, if you had Osha or Pike, which honestly, I'm playing a lot of Pikes in my most recent Mermel lists because it is a starter card and it's like one of the strongest normal summons the deck has outside of Neptibus because it allows you to trigger shit. So there is that as well. But 
if you have any of these, any one of these cards in your hand, uh, you'll just search the opposite one off Teus, and this allows you to get a search in your hand for usually like something like Gunned, and it also allows you to end your field with a Mermail Abyssaland on it as well. So you actually get Mulan Glace Abyssaland, Bahamut Shark Toad, and uh, Miss Starboy. So. Uh, if you have Osha, it doesn't matter. If you have Pike, it doesn't matter. So we'll just put one of them randomly in, into the hand. You'll activate Teus, discarding Dragoons to summon the Teus. And then the Dragoons and the Teus will trigger, and you'll search whatever you're, you're missing. If you had you know, the level 4, you're just going to search Osha. If you had Osha, you'll search Pike. Specifically Pike, because Turge is the worst one to have. Although it is still triggerable, so that is something to note. And then Dragoons is going to search for a Neptibus, the Atlantean Prince here. All right? And so there's multiple different other combo sequences you could go down with this sort of combo hand, but like I said, this is the simplified version. This is just the, I want to do these combos in a simple and clean way and try to have success with the deck sort of video. But so you'll summon Osha, you'll use Osha target your Teus, and this time you are going to summon Hild, and you are going to summon Mermel Abyssland. The reason you're not summoning Mander or another level 4 here is because you're not going to be required to use it for anything. So you might as well get a monster that is going to stay on the field and be something that is beneficial to your game plan, i.e. a floater in the form of Lind. But then your Teus will go to Grave off the Osha effect. And then what you'll do here is you will link with your Osha and your Hild into the Mistar Boy, And then your Hild will trigger its effect to summon a Mermel from your hand. So you'll summon the Mermel Abyss Pike out of your hand. Abyss Pike will trigger, and you'll discard the Neptibus the Atlantean Prince to add any level 3 water monster from your deck to your hand that you want. I personally prefer to search for Abyss Gund, because Gund is just an insane, insane card. I mean, this card was once limited on the Forbidden Limited list. Like, this card is good for very good reasons. Uh, this card's Monster Reborn. Like, come on now. But then uh, your Neptibus will trigger, because since it was discarded for a water monster, and you'll bring back the Atlantean Dragoons in your graveyard. And then from here, you will overlay with the Pike and the Dragoons into your Bahamut Shark. And you have four waters in grave at this point, so you will detach the Dragoons off the Bahamut Shark to summon the Totally Awesome in the other zone that Miss Starboy opens. Your Dragoons will trigger, and you will search for your Moulin Glace. And then you have five waters in grave, so you immediately just get to immediately drop the Moulin Glace, taking two cards out of your opponent's hand. So, your opponent is playing on four cards going second yet again. They have to deal with a Toad that is getting boosted everything is getting boosted this lind is 2000 attack if you want to put it in attack mode you can like <laughs> this mistar boy gives it uh, 2000 attack uh, and what is it? original defense 12 so 1700 defense so it's a, it's a big beefy lind and the thing is that when it dies it's a floater um, so your opponent has to play through a totally awesome you already have a lind on your board this this board is just really oppressive to deal with going second especially considering the fact that people only get to play with three cards because you took two out of their, out of their hand with a Moulin Glace and then Toad takes a third and potentially takes it if it was a power card as well and then Toad adds cards back to your hand as well uh, in the form of power cards like Teus and Dragoons like I've already discussed uh, but like the fact that they have to deal with Bahamut Shark and they have to deal with a floating Lind uh, that, has, that has a known Gund in hand is like just really oppressive to try and deal with when you're playing with already essentially three cards going second against a board like this. Uh, so like this is just this is a really nice combo sequence. This is my favorite ones of the like simplified combo sequences. And if I'm ever just playing Yu-Gi-Oh online and I'm playing Mermails and like I open this hand, I just do it because like <laughs> I would rather just do something like this that's simple and effective and like just make people mad with it rather than just go out of my way to just link spam on people and do stuff like that. Just because like. I'm, sometimes sometimes you just want to take it easy. Sometimes you don't want to play, like, try-hard Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and so this is this is by far one of my favorite openings that the Mermel deck has currently because it's very simple. It's very easy to for, to perform. I mean, it's just Teus Dragoons and plus, like, any one of, like, three different variables. Like, it's actually just really good. And you end with Lind. And Lind is actually, like... Lind is really good in simplified game states, which the modern Mermel deck is very good at forcing your opponent into uh, simplified game states through playing various tactics of like caveman Yu-Gi-Oh with your opponent of just throwing resources at each other. Mermails is naturally just a very good deck in simplified game states once you get past that point because of things like Lind, because of things like Gunned, because of how big and oppressive the monsters you can drop are like Megalo. Like this deck is just actually just really strong and really good and it's very, very much, very, uh, very much one of my favorite decks that I've ever played in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I love the theory combos with it. But, so I've got other combo tutorials that I'll be doing with Mermails uh, going out in the future. 
Uh, like I said, expect another video on Teus Dragoon's combos, but with the super expanded, like, I'm making Firewall Dragons, I'm making all this nonsense, and then I'm dropping Mulin, and then Bahamut Toad, so... If you're interested in that, then definitely keep an eye out for it on the channel. But anyway, other than that, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. Thanks for watching as always. Drop a like if you want to see more Mermo combo tutorials or more Mermo videos in general. And leave some feedback down below. I'd love to hear it. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I'd love to welcome you on board. And links as always are in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you enjoy the content that I've been creating as of recently and want to help support my ability to continue making content of that quality and also trying to improve it further then Patreon is the best way to do so, as well as also getting you access into monthly raffle giveaways for boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh! product or things of comparable value, as well as access to my private Discord server where me and a bunch of other people chat on a daily basis about Yu-Gi-Oh! and various other fandoms. So if any of those things are of appealing nature to you and are anything you'd be interested in, then definitely go check out the Patreon link in the description down below, and you would have my gratitude in advance for any support that you'd want to give the channel. But special thanks as always to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki phoenix and troy perkins as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on patreon this month you help out a lot more than you may know or understand i say that constantly but it constantly rings true and you have my eternal gratitude as always but other than that as i've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time give me some feedback in the comments down below of what you want to see next and what you thought of this video and all that sort of stuff and as always guys take care i'll see you in the next video